Hey folks, it's E-Chip with Contentment Channel. Hope you're doing well. And uh, today is another installment in our um, off-grid uh, solar well control and solar Wi-Fi station. And uh, so <clears throat> what I have in front of me today is the well part. I've got a, a NEMA box here. I'll show it for you. Uh, I picked up this box to manage the uh, well part of the solar Wi-Fi uh, well and Wi-Fi station uh, because as some of you know we've had a theft out here and uh, so I wanted to put all of the well control parts uh, in a box that's lockable and is dustproof and rainproof uh, so I've got this IP65 IP66 rated box I think it's called a 4S or 4X or something like that NEMA and uh, I've just begun to outfit it with certain things. This is the disconnect switch for the uh, solar and the Wi-Fi control. And uh, in these holes at the top, I will have um, uh, MC4 connectors for the solar to come through. You notice I have two sets. One is for the three panels that will operate the well, the solar-powered well pump. The other two uh, is to operate the solar-powered Wi-Fi. And I'll show you how that works. But... Today I'd be putting together this box and putting it on the pole uh, so that we can reestablish our, uh, our regular water supply here at Contentment. So, we uh, this morning we got out early before the wind picked up, did a little bit of MIG welding, uh, welded on these cross pieces to support those boxes and uh, so we're getting ready to getting close to installing these boxes but first we thought we'd put a decent coat of paint on this uh, protect it from rust you having a good time Robert yes this is so fun <laughs> <laughs> we put some hardener in this paint so it would dry faster because the afternoon winds will absolutely throw sand all over this so trying to get it painted and hardened before that happened it dries pretty quickly yeah well it's a nice dry climate no humidity the way these mc4 connectors are uh, they're kind of different um there is a male and a female connector uh, every time they connect so uh, they snap together like this and whether the line is positive or negative that's what you're going to run into the way that this connects is you after you've crimped this really well and uh, by the way i would recommend that you get a dedicated mc4 crimper for this um, you would slide on the nut and then slide on the female uh, socket and it just snaps into place there like that and then you'll screw this to tighten it but I don't want to do that yet because I have to get it inserted into the box first okay I think I like that I've got the We've got the MC4 connectors uh, installed, along with their wiring, as you can see back in there and back in there. Uh, and then, uh, of course, I had to, I already pre-fit these, but then I needed to test fit them again after I got these wires in to make sure everything's clear. Um, this is one of the uh, well pump controllers. There, This system includes two controllers. Uh, one is a transfer switch that allows either DC or AC input to the pump. We have a Grunfos Flex pump, which will run on 110, 220, and either AC or DC. Um, and so uh, the, the controllers consist of two. You have this one, which is basically a transfer switch between AC and DC. It includes a plug, you know, which will allow you to just plug it into AC power if you want to or it'll take it directly from the solar panels uh, from these MC4 connectors. 
the other component is this one here, which is the actual pump controller, and it's also a uh, uh, like a charge controller. So it takes the power from the charge controller, uh, I mean from the uh, solar panels, and it distributes them to the well. It also has a number of diagnostic features on here. It'll know whether it's being powered by solar, wind, or an inverter. Um, and then I should say that would be a AC power. Um, and then, uh, it also has a signal, uh, which tells you when the uh, pressure tank or your, uh, stock tank or whatever is full. And it shows the activity of the pump. Um, so it, it's kind of, it also tell you if, uh, there's something wrong that needs to be taken care of. This little screen will give you several codes or will tell you how many kilowatts is burning, uh, in pumping. So it's kind of a nice little uh, thing. It's a it's both a solar charge controller and well controller all in one. I really like it. So that will fit here in this area, but I just need to make sure that all these wires fit. Now, these uh, power supply wires from from the photovoltaic from the solar panels are going to go into here, into this uh, switch, uh, and also what will come into this switch are these surge protectors. Uh, now, surge protectors, this is for lightning, obviously. You get solar panels sitting out there, and we do get quite a bit of lightning here in the summertime with the storms, the few we get. So I definitely want to protect the panels and all of the components here, and the way you do that is with surge uh, protection. This is a surge protector. There's, there's one surge protector for the circuit that will feed the pump, uh, the well pump, system and then there is another surge protector which serves the circuit uh, that comes from or, or that serves the wi-fi which will be in the box that sits below this on the on the post outside so the idea is to uh, get the power and the surge protection at this disconnect uh, first point of disconnect you want that surge protection as close to your panels as possible and this is as close as it gets and then uh, some of this power will go into uh, this uh, flex switch, which will then serve the well pump. The other power, this here, uh, will continue out of the box down here and to the other box to serve the uh, Wi-Fi system. So, okay, I've got the uh, two PV circuits and their surge protectors uh, wired up together. Coming through here, Knight 7 8 bushing into this switch box. And as you can see, I've got two separate circuits here. This is for PV1, positive and negative, PV2, positive and negative, and their uh, surge protection in line right to the disconnect. So hopefully this will prevent any damage from this point um, forward in this system in case of a lightning strike. I'd like to thank Engineer 775 for anticipating my need and sending me this four-pole disconnect switch. Four-pole means that I can, I can connect four separate circuits to this switch, and with one turn of the switch, turn them on or turn them off uh, all at the same time. So I'm testing here for ohms to make sure I got, <clears throat> make sure I know which uh, terminal connects to what now for straight four pole switching i guess it's one this is number one back here you can't really see it but then it should switch to should continue to two and I'm, I'm getting yeah good i'm getting ohms okay i'm getting resistance that's good so one carries through to two and then three should carry through to four yep and uh five should carry through to six yep and seven should carry through to eight. When the switch is on, let me turn the switch off. Make sure it disconnects. One to two, nothing. Three to four, nothing. Five to six, nothing. Seven to eight, nothing. Excellent. Okay, boy, it took some effort with this eight gauge wire, but uh, yeah, we've got this switch all wired up. And the only thing I have left to do is put a ground wire in here and run it out. 
uh, to this lug and then I can put the top on this. Okay, uh, I've been working on this all day and uh, finally got it done. Been fighting heavy wire and things like that, but here it is. Uh, here's the transfer switch portion and here's the actual controller. As you can see, it's all a pretty tight fit because of this heavy wire. This is eight gauge wire and I wanted to go with heavier wire. Um, it's harder to work with, but you know, I already had the eight gauge. I don't have any 10 gauge and uh i like the eight gauge better so it's it's a really snug fit for everything in here but it will work and so now let's go install this thing Okay, pull this off. Never ever buy any hole saw from Ace Hardware. These bimetal saws are garbage. They're out of round and you can see how badly it's chewed up that hole and every hole I've drilled into this box. There we go. Okay, the first component's in, let's do the other. Okay, and so there it is, such as it is. I know it's an ugly mess, but uh, I think it'll do the job. It took all day to do this, but <laughs> we got it done. Now let's turn it on, test it, run this well, and see if I can get a bath. So we are off and running here. We got water again. That's good. And uh, we'll do what we need to do here, and then uh, I'll roll up that cord, throw it in there, and we'll close this thing up uh, again this is for uh, solar uh, so it'll remain off for now and I have to put some tape over top of these uh, to protect them against rain and dust and things like that until such time as the solar panels are installed but yeah all in all a fun project it wasn't easy but it was fun